Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the beat up plans with a turn towards grey matter. Well, I think it is high time we had a talk with Mephistopheles. The black closed. One. They're closed? But also, I don't believe that post was there before? Lady Byron. Lady Byron, command performance tonight, Deedless Club London. Well, now I know where to find Miss Everett. I'm lucky for her. That was extremely quick, I must say. Also, do you have something to say perhaps about the Samantha shop? Actually, you do seem to have something to say about the Samantha shop. I never noticed the name of that shop before. Um, actually, I found it all that I could never interact with it, but... Um... In the lab. We still have to do something in the lab. Just another shop. Actually, Oxford Town Center is still gold. Hold on, what do we all still need to do? We now know where Samantha's at. Despite the fact that I have only 8 points. I know... Well, actually, I don't know where Deedless Club is. Where would I find information on that? I also still have St. Edmund's Hall, which is like... Gold. Um, it probably has to do something with ordering. Let's go back to Sir St. Edmund's Hall. Perhaps now warn... Um, I don't know how he called him again. No. Warn him about Samantha? Oh, perhaps warn the inspector about Samantha. I have to think of Dr. Stalin like Samantha's evil. Pazer was in charge of our accident for the local police. There wasn't a whole lot to it. Okay, so that is not true. Uh, that isn't true. Oh, I don't need to do that. I just need to go... Hold on. To a different location than Dreadhill House, I suppose, should be in... I mean, we never did actually finish the in-the-lab experiments. Despite the fact that we did see that Angela has is, has the, the, the brain things... Why could, we, why could we look? I mean, we did notice the extra port that was on the private computer. So I guess somewhere in the private lab also that I need to be. I also haven't visited my own room, of course. But that wouldn't be really in the lab, but then again, there's a good chance that something else might. Brain power experiment published. Now compare this diagram to the brain scan image from the experiment. I'll need to take it over there. Wait, you don't know? Oh, you want to know about this? Well, that's random. I thought actually that he would know I'll this. Take it with me. Also, that's a really old printer that if it makes that sound. Do you have it or do I need to pick it up? No, you do have a brain diagram. <laughs> I was. Oh, I, actually, I'd forgotten what that piece of info meant, but. I kind of thought Dr. Stiles would know from, from the top of his hand, and he said he just didn't realize it. And there are many things we just don't know yet about the brain. So I thought that that had to do with it. But, um... What's the 45 frame, right? There. So... I'm not sure what part of the brain that is. It's too low to be the visual cortex, and too far right to be the hypothalamus. But you already said that. Angela has activity in her massa intermedia just before the flare. That's odd. I'm not sure I remember what that area does, or if it does anything. Oh, that's actually in the paper. The massa intermedia, I believe, didn't do anything, right? But it was more common in women than in males? I think it said, if I recall the, the paper correctly, and don't 
believe that I have a memory that lasts weeks because of this. It's because I recently, uh, as I said, I, I, I re-looked at my, some of my videos just to find some clues. Um, my ooh, files. Ooh. Oh, that's already done. But the Massa Intermedia. Here. The Interfelmic Adhesion, or Massa Intermedia, is a small structure, about one centimeter in diameter, connecting the two halves of the thalamus. Its functions remain unknown since no neurological def deficit has been observed based on its absence. In fact, the Massa Intermedia, which is larger in females, oh, okay, larger, not more present, is only present in about four out of five people. Oh, no, more often in females than in males. Sorry, I got corrected two sentences later, so I did remember that correctly. Um, did this finish in the lab? It did finish in the lab. Okay, so... Did this finish Dreadhill House? Not entirely, it is silver. Well, the only f thing I can think of that we haven't been... In uh, in is my room. And I'm wondering about something. And that is actually Laura's dress, which was missing. Is it still missing? Yes, it is. Actually, I can click on that even here. Laura's dress is still missing. Because that's... I think that's also, like, a big clue. Is that something you can find, perhaps, in Samantha's something? No, I doubt that Samantha's taken. That that makes no sense what I'm saying right now. It's still silver. I re-clicked on it. Fine, if I constantly click on this, I I'm going to believe I need to go somewhere else. Go back to St. Edmund's Hall. I don't know. More now them about Angela being psychically gifted, but I am a doctor that hasn't been around on campus in ages. And that might seem really, really weird. Nope. Nothing to do in here. Okay, so if it's not over here... Sorry. Then I suppose I need to be in Oxford Town Center again. Did I... fail to notice something at Mistopheles' shop? About the poster? Is there, like, a, a location notice on it? Did I miss that? I needed to take it with me. Directory inquiries. How may I be of assistance? I need an address for the Deedless Club, London. I'm terribly sorry, but that number is X directory. Hmm. Thank you. London clubs can be so ridiculously secretive. I need someone who could pull a private address. And I think I know who to ask. Vlad is our clue. Okay. Can I... I would love to... London clubs can be so ridiculous. I don't want to see that. I want London to... Club. I can... Oh, I, I really wanted to see this picture up in, uh, in, in large. But I assume that... Yes. That means Oxford Town Center is great out. That means that we probably need to go, um... Uh... Let's go to Dranhill House one more time. I, I'm going to go to Samantha's room now, now that we have the Lady Byron poster. Perhaps there's something else that we can find in her room, or realize about it in her bag, or what have you not. That is about the, the biggest thing I can think of. And after that we will go towards St. Edmund's Hall, of course, because that's still golden. Uh, your backpack, miss. I want to snoop around just a little more. Oh, you uh, reap what you sow. You snooped around. Predictably morbid. No, nope. nothing new. Photo of parents? Who did he? Something? Those must be the parents Sam lost. I refuse to feel sorry for that Jezebel. That is a new line. That's probably the silver thing, yes. Uh, you know, 
I think you're jumping to conclusions. I thought you told Sam not to, not to let your emotions rule over the facts. Now you're doing it yourself. You hypocrite. Whoa, screen went weird there. I think that is the second time it did that actually with that transition. Never did it before. But yes, it's golden if you want a secret address. The detective most likely. Though he shouldn't give that out. Just like the lady shouldn't give out the psychological report. Detective. But yes. I guess that Dr. Styles is going to ask again and then again. Talk him down and tell him how bad he is. I need some information. Do you know of a place called the Daedalus Club in London? What for? I need the address. It's rather critical. Why don't you call Bloody Directory Inquiries? I tried Bloody Directory Inquiries. They don't have it. I thought the police might have heard of it. Uh, hang on. Not like I'm accomplishing a frigging thing here anyway. You're right. It's ex-directory. Some kind of club. Here's the address. Thanks. I'm grateful. Just tell me if you hear anything, right? Of course. I think Pazer still has uh, a high sense of... Um, how shall I put this? Sympathy for Dr. Styles that he is willing to do this, these things. We can go to the Dealer's Club as Dr. Styles, not as Lady Byron or Samantha or what have you not. This doesn't really look like a good club. Do we enter this one or that one? Dealer's Club, Public Bar and Coffee Shop. Well, let's first go into the coffee shop. It's a cafe. That can't be the private club I'm looking for. Well, I thought you might want to... Have one final drink before you go inside. This also doesn't look like a private club to me. Sorry, but it looks horribly run down. There's a gentleman I've never seen before at the door. I came to see the show. Do you have an invitation? A token, perhaps? I have money. That's generally considered token enough for entertainment. Ah, this is a private club, sir. I'm afraid you need. This man's voice is extremely soft. And also, I think it has a little bit to do again with an, with an accent. I'm here to see Lady Byron before. She's a friend of mine. Ah, yes, I do see it. Hell silly. Please, by all means, come in. Dr. Styles. Nice evening. Yes. Supposed to be a good show tonight. Or an interesting one at any rate. Lady Byron? The club's a buzz. Word is she's got a game going on up at Oxford. Quite a good one, too. Game? What kind of game? A grand game. It would have to be good for the club to give someone like her membership. Street performer, you know. American. But from what I've heard, it might be at that. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, for our first act this evening, something fresh, something new in London town. This young magician has never before graced our stage, so prepare to be amazed, prepare to be enthralled and delighted by Lady Byron. I mean, Dr. Stiles. You're very good. But unfortunately, the game you orchestrated will not work out as planned. 
What? Look, maybe I should have told you about... about my magic. But what's happening to you is not my game. I mean, how did you even... how did you... Find out? Not relevant. I know, and it's over. I can see how this looks, but I know who's pulling the game on you. I proved it today. If you just... Really? And you're a student at St. Edmunds, and an English Lit major. I... I have to admit, you were brilliant. Even hunting down my mother's necklace, just to make sure you got taken on. The funny thing is, you went to all that trouble, and there really is something going on at Dreadhill. And you with your ridiculous pranks at the track and pool. Ridiculous? Do you even know what would be involved? Those illusions were way beyond me. Stop lying, Sam. I called that foster care office, you know, and found out something real about you at any rate. I could almost feel sorry for you. If you hadn't tried to ruin my life. As for today, you're lucky no one was killed in that cafeteria. Did it not occur to you that someone could get hurt? Or were you too blinded by your big debut? I don't even know what you're talking about. All of your potential, and you throw it away to get into a damn magic club. I know you won't believe anything I say, but all I ever wanted to do was help you. Help me? Why would you? I want you cleared out of Dreadhill by morning. If you're gone, I might not turn you into the police. I never want to see your face again. Ouch. Eh? You don't practice what you preach. If you preach for emotions to be left out in certain manners, then why do you do this, Dr. Stiles? Secondly, what... what... bother necklace? He never... found a mother's necklace to help him out. I had the feeling something was cut from the game and unfortunately that sentence was forgotten to be pulled out of it. What what is necklace? But we are playing a Sam again. Which I'm okay with. Uh oh. The game of life, I'm Laura Styles. In the Lion's Den and Chapter 8 bone is a lot of it. Well, Lots of old game machines in here. Very Deedless Club. I wish I had time to try them. They look beautiful. Lots of old game. All of them old games, but this one I know is featured in a film where it predicts the future. So this one is the Lots one of old game. No. <laughs> what that interests me the most. Hey, this one has Houdini's props. Hats. Wands, cards, I'm truly standing in a temple of magic. Hats, wand... Hats, oh yeah. wand... Hats. Hats, wand... Hats... Hey, this one has Houdini's props. Daedalus. He was Icarus's father, an architect of the maze where Minus locked the Minotaur. No wonder the club took him as their inspiration. Because it's smoke and mirrors. That's... I have what... to admit, however classy this may be, it's pretty damn bizarre. The club could come across as a cult or something from the outside. Yes. Yes, it does. Very, very, very astutely noticed. Um... We have the auditorium and we have the public, public bar. Let's go to the auditorium first. The stage is over there. But I'm finished and I don't have time to see the other shows. But the public bar is also going to the shows, right? Isn't it? By the way, the dealer's club looks amazing. I would thoroughly enjoy being in such an environment. Someone mentioned an event that happened in Oxford today. You wouldn't happen to know about it, would you? Our guests have been talking about it all night. 
but I've been too busy to get the particulars. Care to fill me in? Me? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I see. Do you know Mephistopheles? I'm looking for him. The last time he was in here was before the show. Oh, thanks. How cool. Famous magicians, I guess. Although I never heard of them. I just realized that this painting looks like Angela's father. Famous magicians, I guess. You don't see that resemblance, Angel uh, Samantha. That looks very much like her, f like Angela's father. Famous magicians, I. It's interesting. Um. Also, still going back to what I wanted to say. Why in the world? Or how in the world is it possible that she finds out about the Peter's Club, goes there, they make a print a poster, then send it back to Oxford to have it be arranged in a private club where nobody can enter? Why would you have a poster of it anyways? That makes no licking sense. Lady fair with raven hair. Getting some air between shows. I don't have another show tonight. Oh, but you do. What does that mean? I'm nearly a fall. In a grand game. Uh, by the way, turn up your headset because this guy is really, really soft. Did something happen at Oxford today? Did something happen at Oxford today? <laughs> so cool. So waifishly naive. The committee doesn't like blood, you know. It wasn't me. Well, it certainly wasn't me. Do you know Mephistopheles? Does the flower know rain? Does the horizon know the setting sun? I'll take that as a yes. Do you know where I can find him? The club is two. Like the faces of Janus. Here is one for the public eye. There is another, only for the wise. Which are you? You mean, there's a private part of the club? <laughs> Give the lady a cigar. I really need to see Mephistopheles. Could you get him? No, could you? How? You said he was in a private part of the club. Privilege can be borrowed for a night or two, if you pass the test. Oh God, another game? But I need to speak with Mephistopheles now. <laughs> Take it or leave it. We'll do it. But first we'll talk to the patrons over here. Then we'll probably be at the end of this episode. So then we'll try the game and try to enter and find Mephistopheles. Whew. Have you heard anything about what happened in Oxford today? Did we? Yes, I think we did. Was that the UFO sighting? No, no, that was in Scotland. They evacuated the school, didn't they? <laughs> Terrorist threat? That was in London. Well then, I don't know. Okay, thanks. Holy poop. The lady is as... Large as her brain is small. That's over exaggerating, but if you talk with that type of accent and act like everything doesn't matter with that type of air, you're no friend of mine. Do you know Mephistopheles? Have you seen him? The magician. He's performed here. Amazing fellow. Did you see him tonight? No. It was some woman in a mask. Quite good. Right. Thank you. You don't recognize that. To God, I've thought of it all. I also like this one's particular looks. Actually, I guess I can't go run on this? No. Anything else I need to see here, almighty space bar? Oh, a newspaper. Well, that's well hidden. Bizarre event at Oxford. The dining hall at St. Edmund's Hall was struck by invisible disc-shaped missiles around 4.30 today. That's after the experiment, though. 
resulting in a dozen injuries and three hospitalizations. None of the missiles were recovered. The police have attributed the incident to hailstones, but sources say that the incident was far more in inexplicable. Because hailstones don't make that type of event, and there's no water, and then also the roof wouldn't have been collapsed. This is the third in a series of bizarre events that have taken place on the campus in recent days, and authorities at the Oxford Police Department are scratching their hands to... Oh, I go to page 5. Actually, can I go to page 5? Oh no, I don't understand. Why did it happen in the dining hall? How did they find out about the discus? Well, they found out about the discus, but it's in the wrong location, so something is off there. I can't read... Talk to that fellow again to rediscuss this. Well, I guess we'll try one, one crack at the game before the end of the episode in that case. Okay, where do I find the game to get into the private section of the club? Where does everyone go? Below, below. To be tested by the time. Don't let it hurt your pride, if you fail. Yeah, thanks so much. Below. Below? Lady Byron lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Yeah, that's so helpful. I'm gonna go... One time to this cafe bar over here, wondering if I can do something there. Nope. Alright, then we're gonna go back in. Almost wondering if that dude himself is Mustafa's, but... Nope, just walk over here. Miss Byron. Hmm. I'm guessing she's gonna say she can't go there. The stage is over there, but I'm finished. Okay, well... <sighs> I think it's... It's a little early to end the episode, I, I am aware, but the last episode was a little longer again, and it's a near the half hour mark. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to end the episode over here, and when we return, well, we have ourselves an issue on hand. Supposedly, Samantha knows who's done it, but Dr. Styles doesn't want to listen. Problems, problems to be solved. I say a thank you for watching, and remember, great peril, you great beauty.